significant portion of faculty in their chapter recently had a big win asking for increased wages for faculty to raise the minimum wage to at least be the median minimum wage for faculty across the United States. Brooks Howe. UCW CWA local 3821 member from Auburn University. Uh, UCW is the United Campus Workers. Uh, really excited to talk to Brooks about the organizing that UCW has going on in the South and some of the recent developments. Brooks, welcome to the program. Thanks so much for having me on. Happy to be here. Yeah, appreciate your time. Appreciate all that you're doing to build worker power in the South, uh, particularly in the public sector. So if you could just tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, what you do and and where you're a member of United Campus Workers. Yeah, so uh, my name is Brooks. As was mentioned, I'm a Ph.D. student at Auburn University in the physics department. Um, I'm just finishing up my second year, so I'll be a third year come the fall. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, joined, I joined Camp United Campus Workers a couple uh, about, about a year ago, and I'm involved in in uh, the welcome committee to help people who recently joined the union feel welcome to to the union and and get involved as soon as possible. Um, and I recently uh, was uh, attended the United Campus Workers Southeast inaugural convention. Awesome, yeah, I'm, and I'm definitely going to ask you about that inaugural convention and. Uh, I was lucky enough to get a chance to talk with some of y'all on, on the beginnings of that convention. At least some of the Alabama folks really enjoyed that. Uh, but before we get into the convention, could you just remind people a little bit about United Campus Workers? What kind of organizing model do you have and what kind of workers can join United Campus Workers? So United Campus Workers <laughs> is a union which is for the uh, public universities around the country. Um, and basically, if you uh, make a paycheck from a university, a state state funded university, you are eligible to join United Campus Workers. Um, particularly in the South, we have to do a very particular kind of, of labor organizing. Um, so because we live in Alabama and a right to work state, uh, we have to do something called pre-majority, pre where basically, there's little to no, no chance of getting uh, a union contract to in, for the workers. However, um, we still are able to put pressure on leaders at the university to sort of try and get them to make the right choice. At the end of the day, we can attend public events, we can attend people's offices, we can make petitions. Um, and currently we actually have a, a higher wage campaign going, uh, demanding a higher wages for graduate students, a minimum graduate stipend throughout campus. Uh, we have several uh, staff demands as well and faculty demands um, uh, that go with that. And we plan on bringing that to the, to the uh, president of the university and the CFO. So we, we do things like that. Um, I also mentioned that we have faculty and staff demands as well. So I myself am a graduate student, but we do something that's called wall-to-wall -wall organizing, which is different than some of the other higher education unions that you might have heard of about the country. For instance, uh, well, and so in, in Alabama, we actually include in UCW all faculty, staff, and student workers within the same union. Um, and so that gives us, for, for, for sort of organizing like the pre-majority, uh, organizing is really benefited from that because you already just have more members by factoring them in um, uh, by having all job classes at a university eligible to join. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. That wall to wall organizing, I think, is really important. And uh, it's something I really appreciate about United Campus Workers, the fact that uh, you are trying to organize any worker on campus, like you said, anyone who draws a paycheck, the various classifications, uh, because ultimately you have the same employer, so you have shared interests and you can build more power together. Uh, and, you know, as you mentioned, in Alabama, as with much of the South, uh, there are not collective bargaining rights for public sector employees. So folks who work at Auburn University or Alabama, uh, UAH, the various universities and colleges across the state, like you said, there, there's 
right now under the current legal framework, a collective bargaining agreement may not be on the horizon, but there's so much more that you can do uh, to still win for your members and still win better wages, better benefits, better working conditions. Uh, so really appreciate that. And uh, you mentioned earlier about the Southeast Convention. It was a first of a kind. Tell us a little bit about the convention. Uh, why were y'all gathering together and what were some of the things that came out of that? Yeah, absolutely. So recently we had our inaugural United Campus Workers Southeast Convention uh, occur in Birmingham, Alabama at a uh, UCW, UCW, uh, CWA local hall that they have there. And um, basically, it was why I say it was the inaugural convention. A lot of the states in the Southeast used to be part of their own locals. Um, and Alabama was included in that. But we recently made uh, and we recently combined all of them basically into one local, which includes eight states. Those are Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, Louisiana, uh, Mississippi, South Carolina, Tennessee. And um, this was the first convention where all of those states, members from all of those states were invited. Um, some of the business that we were looking into was to uh, draft uh, with the new draft bylaws. There were a couple of proposals to add to those bylaws, to change those bylaws, um, but also just to make connections through uh, meeting each other from different states. And, you know, a lot of states have different size chapters. You have big chapters with small chapters and talking to big uh, between those kinds of things can give you a lot of great ideas um, to, to, to continue organizing. So it was a really great experience and got to meet a lot of really awesome people. And it was exciting because we, it sounds like we're gonna be able to collaborate across states, which was a little harder to do um, when each state was its own local. Hey, five seconds, just wanted to say that this is only possible because of our donors. If you wanna see more of this, then consider donating yourself at tblr.fm slash donate. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And it was really cool for me to observe some of y'all's conversations that first day and hear some of the strategizing that y'all were doing, uh, you know, the the workplace mapping and, and really just getting down to the brass tacks of building an organization. And so, um, you know, I I just can't help but, but think that this merger is going to allow for y'all to grow. Um I'm sure there were lots of pros and cons y'all had to weigh as you made this decision. Uh, but I can really imagine that, you know, not having to replicate so many different things and so many different positions across multiple locals, but instead consolidate your forces and get organized that way. Uh, really, really hoping it's going to, you know, lead to a lot of growth. And uh, so you mentioned the the higher wage campaign uh, earlier uh, at Auburn. Were there any other campaigns that y'all are running across the state that you wanted to lift up? So I know that um, there are three. So there are three chapters that uh, exist in Alabama thus far. We have members at other campuses as well. The three chapters are Jacksonville State University, Auburn, and University of Alabama. Uh, currently, um, I'm not completely up to date on the on the other two campuses, but I do know that Jacksonville State, um, which is uh, has a, a significant portion of faculty in their chapter, uh, recently had a big win with uh, asking for increased wages for faculty, specifically to raise the, the minimum wage for faculty to at least be uh, the median min minimum wage for faculty across the, the United States. And so that was a huge win because they got uh, to have a seat at the table at the board of directors meeting of, of Jacksonville State and um, and got a ton of signatures on a petition that they recently ran. Um, University of Alabama has run petitions in the past. I believe uh, their petition uh, reached, they reached their goal for their petition. I know that. And at Auburn, we are still trying to reach our goal for our petition. So we have, uh, like I mentioned before, we have uh, graduate student demands of raising, for instance, raising the graduate student assistantship uh, stipends to a minimum of 25000 a year. For staff demands, we wanted to raise the staff minimum wage to seventeen fifty. dollars which uh, also recently they raised the minimum wage of the, uh, the staff minimum wage to $15 an hour, but of course they excluded workers who are part-time or student undergrad student workers in that minimum wage increase. 
So we want to raise it even more to adjust for the cost of living. Um, and for the faculty demands, uh, we really are demanding for a solid pathway for faculty promotion, which doesn't really exist very well. A lot of faculty feel that it, there's not a clear way for them to, to sort of be promoted. And so um, current, you know, we, we're looking for 500 signatures. We're at almost 300 signatures. Um, so really excited once we get to our goal to deliver our petition to the president of the university and the chief financial offer, uh, officer. Yeah, absolutely. And definitely wishing y'all a lot of luck and encouraging our listeners out there. If you haven't signed the petition, uh, go online, search for United Campus Workers Auburn and definitely sign that in solidarity. Make sure you're supporting these workers as they're fighting for better wages and benefits. Um, and something that I, I wanted to just ask you uh, for those who are listening, who work at a public university somewhere here in the south. Uh, who have not joined United Campus Workers yet. Uh, maybe they're not sure if they should. Maybe they, you know, are just learning about it for the first time. What would you say to them to encourage them to get involved? Yeah, so we actually have several members uh, at different universities that don't qualify yet as a chapter throughout Alabama. Um, I know we have, I believe we have a couple at Troy University, um, and we're, we're trying to go into other ones. Uh, so I... I really think that um, even though you might be struggling with small numbers and you might look at, okay, if I join this, who am I going to be really fighting with? And, 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 that, and that's really the struggle down in the South here. But I think that especially if you join United Campus Workers, um, you're able to connect with these other groups. And especially since we are now just one big local with the Southeast 3821, uh, you actually have a lot of resources at your disposal uh, if you get involved and get connected with the rest of United Campus Workers quickly. Um, and if you join, you know, we, we find out pretty much immediately. We have staff who look at that and we will let, uh, will let us know so we can get into contact with, with anybody and, and help uh, and, and have solidarity with them so that we can basically help them to organize even though numbers might be small at the beginning. Every every chapter starts with small numbers, and you have to uh, eventually, uh, and then eventually you can grow to to big numbers. But you got to start somewhere, and I think that joining United Campus Workers is a great way to get started. Since we have the one big local, which has all these resources, and uh, that can help out. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're so right. It's it's going to have to start small. But if you are a professor, if you're a grad student. If you are a hourly worker of any kind, you know, if you work for a public school or a public university here uh, in Alabama or across the south, across the south, uh, as they mentioned, uh, eight states are covered by United Campus Workers local uh, that was just merged. So definitely check them out. Uh, reach out. Uh, I've been very impressed and I really appreciate CWA for uh, this investment in public sector organizing in the south because a lot of people uh, believe it can't be done or it's just too tough to to focus on. Uh, but I see a ton of potential because uh, there are workers in these universities and colleges that deserve better, uh, that need better. And uh, when they come together, they can make things happen. So Brooks, I really appreciate you. Was there anything else you wanted to leave us with uh, before you dip out today? Yeah, I'll just leave you with the the Instagram and the Twitter handle that we have, UCW Auburn, uh, is our handle on both of those websites. We also have a link tree if you type in L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash UCW Auburn. Uh, you can look at, you can get a link to our living wage petition, uh, as well as to learn more about our chapter. If you're interested in joining and you live in Alabama, you can always go to UCWAL.org. Uh, slash join for the join link, but also you can just look through the website. Uh, that's our website. So uh, please get get involved if you're interested. If you're at a small university and you feel like, okay, maybe not that there's not that many people who are going to be interested in joining with me, join anyway, because we are here uh, to fight with you and win. Absolutely. And just know that the Valley Labor Report and all of us stand with y'all as you fight this good fight. So thanks, Brooks, for joining us uh, and appreciate you. Thanks a lot. 
You just saw a clip from the Valley Labor Report. We are live every Saturday morning from 9.30 a.m. till 12.30 p.m. And we pride ourselves on keeping all of our content free to everybody so that we can talk to as many working folks as possible. If you support the work that we're doing, you think that it's important, you think that it's good, then consider making a monthly contribution to the project, and you can do that on our website, tvlr.fm. Which side are you on?